Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas has been under scrutiny for accepting private flights and luxury vacations from Texas billionaire Harlan Crow. Thomas has said he didn't need to disclose the trips since he and Crow are close friends and Crow didn't have business before the court. But in at least one case, he did. In 2005, the justices declined to hear a fight between an architecture firm and Trammell Crow Residential. At the time, Crow Holdings, which manages the Crow family's capital and which Harlan Crow led, had a minority stake in Trammell Crow Residential. One ethics expert said it's possible Justice Thomas wouldn't have seen the physical court briefs that had the Crow name on them, while another said that Thomas should have been hyper vigilant to the prospect of a Crow business interest coming up to the court, given their years of friendship and the gifts that had already changed hands. It's the latest point in a broader national conversation about what qualifies as a conflict of interest, how effective the justices are at self-policing ethics, and whether a code of conduct should be imposed on the Supreme Court.